Well, we already know that buying a house can cost a fortune nowadays, but it turns out selling can take a bite out of your wallet as well. Joining us now to break down the costs involved in selling a home is our very own Danny Romero. Danny, tell us the three big hidden costs for home sellers that we may not already be aware of. Selling a home can be really expensive, Brad. It's about six to 10% of the sale price. So for example, if you have a $400,000 home for sale, those costs could range about 24,000 to 40,000. And if you have equity, sellers pay costs out of those gains from the sale rather than upfronting the costs, which some sellers do. And now if some sellers don't have enough equity in the home, they will have to upfront the, that cash at, at closing time. But other costs to really consider staging a home with, uh, you know, nice furniture that can cost you thousands of or even hundreds of dollars, depending on the services. Uh, that the stager is providing. Another cost to really consider is repairs and upgrades. So depending on whether or not it's a seller's market or a buyer's market, the expectations can shift on whether or not you would have to please that buyer. So that could mean, you know, painting the house, adding more plants to the yard, making it look nice. So there's some costs there. Now, title insurance, this is really important, I thought, protects the homeowner and mortgage lender from financial losses in the transaction process. So as a seller, you could be paying a premium, which could cost you a pretty penny at closing. And another thing to consider is settlement services. So some states require buyers and sellers to use an escrow or closing company to handle their transactions. And in some states, those uh, to handle that, attorneys do it. So those fees can be about 1% to 2% of the sale price. So that could uh, be split between the seller or the buyer. And then one other thing to just point out is transfer tax. Obviously this depends on the state and local jurisdiction, but there is some form of tax when there's a change of ownership. Danny, while we have you, there, there was a National Association of Realtors settlement recently. How does, how does that impact seller costs? The biggest cost for sellers is paying for those for their realtors commission. So typically that's about five to six percent of the home's sales price. So for example, if you're selling a home uh, for four hundred thousand dollars, a five percent commission would be about twenty thousand dollars. So, but this structure could completely change after the National Association of Realtors set settlement. Uh, the outcome hasn't been finalized, but it is possible that sellers w could pay a lower commission. So you do have a lot more negotiating power over those commission fees, Brad. All right, Yahoo Finance is on Danny Romero, just out there in the newsroom. Thanks so much for the time, Danny. Really appreciate the breakdown here.